It's simple to switch a single LED using a digital pin. This works because a DO pin can provide a maximum continuous load of 20 milliamps, which is just enough to power a single LED. However, if you want to control a load that requires more current, you'll need another option. In this video, you'll learn how to power loads up to 400 milliamps using the onboard voltage regulator and control them with a transistor. For this build, you'll need several LEDs, a mechanical switch, an N-type transistor, a 9-volt DC power supply, and of course, the usual accessories. Start by connecting several LED and 100 ohm resistor pairs in parallel on the breadboard. You could just use one resistor, however, if you do, the LEDs may receive current unevenly and may burn out. So it's better for each LED to have its own resistor. Before you add a transistor, test the circuit with a simple mechanical switch. Add a button in series with your diode resistor circuit. The two halves of the button are internally wired, so make sure that your circuit crosses over the switch. Now finish the circuit by wiring to the 5 volt power supply on the Arduino. Power the Arduino with a 9 volt DC supply and you're ready to test the circuit. When you press the button, the switch's internal leads are connected and the LEDs turn on. If the LEDs do not respond to the button, check your wiring. You're probably more interested in having the Arduino control the LEDs than in pushing a button, so let's swap in an N-type transistor for the button. The two outer leads of the transistor are known as the emitter and collector. If you're looking at the flat side of the transistor, the emitter is on the left. In the transistor symbol, the emitter is marked with an arrow. In its normal state, a transistor resists a flow of current. This means the transistor is naturally off. However, if a voltage is applied to the middle lead, known as the base, the transistor will switch to an on state and current will be allowed to flow. Current flows from the collector to the emitter, so the emitter should always be connected to ground. Replace the mechanical switch with the transistor. Make sure that the collector is connected to the 5 volt pin and the emitter to the LEDs. Also, connect a digital pin to the base of the transistor, adding a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series to ensure that the current through the digital pin remains below 5 milliamps. When the pin is activated, the transistor will allow current to flow through it, turning the LEDs on. Note that even though the circuit will still work if you wire the transistor backward, avoid doing so as it could burn out the transistor. Reconnect the Arduino to the 9 volt DC power source and you're ready to go. You can use a simple code like the one shown here to activate and deactivate the transistor by writing to the digital pin you connected to the base. When the pin is high, the transistor will be activated and the LEDs will turn on. If you're not familiar with controlling a digital pin, check out the blinking LED video linked in the description to learn how. Upload the sketch and you should see the LEDs blink together. If you don't, go back and check your transistor wiring and your code. 